Hello everyone, this is Jason Salino from Al Ross Screen Printing and Embroidery. So in today's video, we're going to show you, give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use our hockey jersey designer. If you scroll through our homepage, you can see we have other products as well, like t-shirts, jackets, caps, and hoodies. But to start designing your hockey jerseys, you're going to click on the hockey jersey logo. Once you get to the hockey jersey page, you can see that we have various different styles of athletic knit jerseys. The one we're going to use in this example is the Athletic Knit H550BK, so just click on Choose Team Color, the blue button. On this page, you can see all the different color choices for this particular jersey. If you want to get a closer zoomed in view of the jersey, just click on it. But when you're ready to go forward, click the blue button, Instant Quote. On this page, this is where you're going to choose your jersey color. In this example, we're going to choose a dark green jersey on the top left, so just click the button and then at the top right, click the red button that says next step. This is where you're going to design the front of your logo. So on this page, make sure before you try to go to the next step, you have to choose an option or the designer will not let you proceed. And that, that goes for every step moving forward. In this example, we're going to do a one color print on the twill crest. Also note that if you click on the sample, the highlighted button samples, it'll show you exactly what it looks like. One other thing to note on this page is it says complex de designs may cost more. We can do more than a three color print. So if that's if your design has more than three colors in it, just communicate with our customer service team and we'll help you figure out what you want. Now we're gonna pick the back numbers for your jerseys. In this example, we're gonna choose the one color sewn twill. Um, please note that if you want to use an NHL style jersey, you can go to choice C and pick the 10 inch premium numbers and then you can, um, you can enlarge the fonts to see what they look like. But for now we're going to stick with the one color stock twill. And over to the right you can also see that it, the um, price updates as you add to your jersey. In this step, this is where you have the choice to add sleeve numbers to your jerseys. So for this example, we're going to keep things consistent and add 4 inch twill sewn numbers in one color. Keep in mind, if you don't want to add numbers to it, just choose choice A, no sleeve numbers, then click next step. In this step, this is where you have the choice to add your player names to the back of your jerseys. Again, we're going to keep it consistent and choose the 3 inch stock block names and sewn twill. So we're going to go ahead and click on the button and then go, up, go and click next step. In this step, we're going to add shoulder logos to our jerseys. Now you may notice that in choice B, we only offer a one color print on the twill emblem. If you want to do more than one colors, this is where we offer sublimated twill emblems. So if, if that's your case, then click choice D. We're going to go with a one color print for today and then click next step. In step seven, you have the option to add a back print to your jersey on the lower part of it. This is popular if you have somebody sponsoring your hockey team. In this example, it says Don's Auto. But we're going to pick choice C, one color print on a twill emblem. In step 8, you have the option of choosing matching socks with your jerseys. If you note at the top, it says not required. You can just not choose anything and click next step if you don't want socks. You do have two options. There's a cotton poly blend and then there's 100% polyester. For this example, we're going to pick the cotton poly blend and we're going to go with the 32 inch adult. We're also going to pick the style number 210 towards the middle just to match them. We're going to enter it in in this box and then we're going to click next step. In this step, you have the option of choosing your player's sizes and quantities. So for in this example, we're going to pick 15 adult large. That's just one of the sizes. You can also add your player's names and numbers at the bottom if you have them. You also have the choice of uploading an Excel file if you click choose file and then upload it from your computer. If you don't have this information on hand at the moment, you're not required to fill any of this out, so you can just leave it blank and click next step. Now you can upload your artwork. Again, this step is not required if you don't have a logo. If you don't have one, just click next step. If you do have a logo, you can um, upload your logo for your front, your shoulder, your back if they are different. Just click choose file and upload your image, then click next step. Alright guys, so this is the final part of the Hockey Jersey Builder. Go ahead and fill out your name and your email address. If you want to add your phone number or any additional comments, any, any questions or anything you might want to add us, go ahead and do that. That part is optional. On the bottom, you can see the final price for your jersey, as well as the price per socks if you did choose to add those. Once you hit submit, one of our customer service reps will be in contact with you and can discuss any questions you may have. 
So this is the end of the Hockey Gear Z tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I hope it was pretty straightforward. And go ahead and click submit.